Kali Somerville here from Family First Life Fury, Executive Vice President. Today I wanted to go through um, the question, does my policy have a two-year wait period on it? Um, and so there's some very specific ways that you can find out if your policy does have a two-year wait. Um, unless you have serious health conditions, your policy should not have a two-year wait on it. It should be immediate coverage based on the first date of the, the premium is received to the company. That's when the coverage should start. So if you don't have serious health conditions, please reach out to me and I will respond and we can take a look at your policy. And if you're not sure, reach out so we can take a look at your policy and make sure that you don't have a two-year wait period. And if you do, um, we can get you something that's immediate because th there may be other companies that will cover you immediately, even though you have a two-year wait period. And even if you have a quote unquote serious health condition, a lot of times people think that's all that they qualify for. But most of the times they work with an agent who only has access to one or two insurance carriers. And so they're not able to shop around and find out the best thing that's going to fit the client's needs um, and their budget at the same time. So as far as the two-year wait period, a lot of insurance policies, um, a lot of the companies that you see on TV um, have a two-year wait. Um, yeah, they do have a two-year wait on them. And the reason this is, is because they are insuring you sight unseen. There, you'll hear words like guaranteed acceptance. There's no medical questions asked. Everybody's accepted. And that means that even if you are a very healthy individual, they're insuring you the same way somebody who may have cancer is being insured with a two-year wait period. And generally, those policies, the way that they work is if you were to die in the first two years due to natural causes, then the insurance company is going to give your beneficiary back the premiums that you paid. And in some cases, depending on the insurance company, they may give you an extra 10%. Um, but if you die from accident, it would pay the full face amount. So the key with that is it's not up to us to decide if the if the, the client with the policy died in an accident, it's gonna be up to the medical examiner and what they put on their death certificate as the cause of death. I have a friend of mine who recently, his stepfather passed away and they found him um, in a small, somewhere where he shouldn't have been. He ended up drowning um, in, a, in a small creek um, but even though he ended up drowning, um, they ended up, uh, putting on his death certificate that it was from natural causes because it was something that caused him to go and drown that his death actually resulted from. Um, so <clears throat> just, you know, just, just a little, a note there about how accidents are determined. It's not determined by us. It's determined by the medical examiner on the death certificate. And that's what the insurance company is going to use to make a claim for the, the deceased. Um, so again, some of the words that you can look out for is, is guaranteed issue, um, guaranteed acceptance. Anything that's guaranteed probably has a two-year wait on it. Um, and generally, policies, a, a policy, an agent who's selling you the right kind of policy, um, they're not going to sell you something that has, if they have the option to be able to sell it, they're not going to sell you something that has a two year wait policy, a two year wait period on it. Because again, that's reserved for people that may have current cancer. Um, and even if you had cancer in the last two years, so a lot of times we can find coverage for somebody, immediate coverage for someone who's had cancer. Um, and it's been longer than two years. So someone who currently has cancer or had cancer six months ago, those are policies that are going to qualify for a two year wait because the insurance companies are in the business of mitigating their risk. And this is just what it is, right? So at the end of the day, they want to make sure that they are insuring people that have a less, lesser chance of dying then they have a higher chance of dying, right? And so they don't want to have to pay the money out. So if you have, let's use that as an example. Let's say if you had cancer currently, or you had cancer a year ago, they're going to say, well, we're going to, we're not going to pay out the full face amount of this policy unless you've been living for two years. So you live past the two years, two years in a day. And then at that point from two years in a day forward, they can go ahead and they can give you the full face, give your beneficiary the full face amount of policy because they kind of secured their money. Um, <clears throat> so if you're in, in on the front page of the policy is really where this information would, you would see that it's a, a two year wait. So it would say something like graded or modified, right? If any of those words are on the face of the policy, on the, the cover of the policy, where it breaks down the kind of policy that you have, then you have a two-year wait policy. And my suggestion would be to reach out to an agent, a licensed agent, to find out 
if that's what you truly have and if you can if they can find you something that's better and a lot of times <clears throat> The people that have a two year a policy that has a two year wait, they're paying more than they need to pay versus an immediate policy. Immediate policies a lot of times are less expensive than policies that have a two year wait because again, the insurance company is trying to ensure their risk and make sure that they have as minimal risk as possible. So they're gonna raise the rate of the policy as well as make the beneficiary wait for two years to get the full coverage or the client to wait two years to get the full coverage. So I hope all this made sense. If you have any questions about your policy or if you want a free policy review, please reach out to me. You can drop a comment below or you can go to my website, usunitedlife.insure is my website or you can just drop a comment below or you can reach out to me on my cell phone, 443-453-6126. I can't wait to help you. Tune in next week for some more life insurance basics. Have a great week.